Gustavo was a ghost. He enjoyed doing the normal things that paranormal beings do. Passing through the walls, making objects fly and glowing in the dark. But there was nothing in the world that he loved more than playing the violin. Well, almost nothing. Gustavo was secretly in love with Alma, the prettiest monster in town. But he also had a problem. You see, Gustavo was so shy that some things felt incredibly difficult for him. And the worst part of it, can you guess? Making friends was terrifying. Gustavo had never dared to speak to any of the other monsters. He tried getting close to them in many different ways. But even when he was right in front of them, they just couldn't see him. They couldn't see him. I know it's crazy, they couldn't see him. Gustavo longed to be a part of something. More than anything, he wanted to make a friend. I have to be brave. I have to let others see me, he thought. You should be brave. You should be very brave. And so, he decided to send a letter, a very special one. A dear monsters, I would like to invite you to my violin concert, which will take place at the Day of the Dead party next full moon at the cemetery. I would be thrilled to see you there. Gustavo, the ghost. As the days went by, Gustavo couldn't stop thinking. What if no one shows up? What if they don't like my music? What if they don't like me? Except tonight was the night. And this time, he couldn't hide. But not a soul had come. Imagine that, nobody showed up. Not a soul. So all alone, Gustavo did what he loved most. And the music made him happy, so happy that he glowed. Oh, how he glowed. A Gustavo! Imagine Gustavo glowing, glowing in the dark. But then, wait, wait. We are so sorry we're late. We wanted to get your flowers, but we got lost instead. And then we heard your music, and we saw your glow. We really loved your concert. Would you like to hang out with us? From that moment on, Gustavo's life changed, and everyone discovered that even if he didn't talk much, he was the best at helping and protecting his friends. But mostly, Gustavo never stopped surprising them and they never stopped loving him. Now that, my friends, is a wonderful ghostly story.